Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about four main reasons that you may feel like a failure even when you're not a failure in grad school. If you don't know me, I am Dr. Elena Reister and I got my PhD in chemistry and now I make videos on this channel to help other graduate students survive and thrive in grad school. So to get started, I want to talk about feeling like you're a failure in grad school. I think this is a really common thing in grad school. I felt like I was a failure through most of grad school, even though on paper I was doing fairly well in grad school. But I think that we all think that we're the only ones who feel like we're failures. And so everyone else seems to do so great. And then we're over here and just dealing with feeling like we don't belong and feeling like we are failing throughout grad school. So I want to talk through four main reasons that I think that a lot of graduate students feel like they're failures when they're really not failures. So the first main reason is feeling overwhelmed. In graduate school, there's a lot of things being put on you and this can very quickly lead you to feeling overwhelmed. And when we feel overwhelmed, we tend to feel like we're failing because if we were really being successful, we wouldn't be overwhelmed. We'd just be able to handle all of these responsibilities placed on us and not have to worry about it. This isn't really true. You're not really failing if you just feel overwhelmed in grad school. There's a transition period of suddenly having all these different responsibilities put on you and also having freedom in your time. And if you haven't developed certain skills in your time management and learning how to deal with a lot of different stressors at once, it can very quickly lead to being overwhelmed. In a free workshop I'm holding next week, I'm actually going to go through developing a whole system to balance out your life, to cut down on the overwhelm. So if you want more information on that, um, click the link below to register for that free workshop. But essentially to combat being overwhelmed, you need to have a system in place that balances all of your responsibilities and that you are completing everything you need to complete within a reasonable time for you. Also with overwhelm, you want to be able to give yourself a little bit of grace. Everyone is dealing with a lot whenever they're in graduate school, and that's not even including what you have going on outside of graduate school with potentially other jobs or families. And so you need to give yourself grace and recognize how much you're really doing and that you're not really failing at those things. You just feel overwhelmed and that's causing you to mentally not be able to feel like you're being successful at any of those things. So the second big reason why we can feel like failures in grad school is our research. So especially if you haven't done research prior to graduate school, you may feel like you have no idea what you're doing in research. And this can often lead us to feeling like failures. And the fact is, is that we're not really failing because we don't know what we're doing in research. It's just the fact that we've never been taught what we're doing. And so even when you're in the lab and you're being taught how to run your specific experiments, you can still feel like you don't know how to troubleshoot or you don't know what your next steps are or you're not able to think about developing ideas and things like that. And these are all skills that you need to learn. It doesn't mean that you're a failure or you're not. It's just that you need to work on developing those skills first and then it's going to feel a lot easier going through your research in graduate school. So again, in that uh, two day workshop that I'm holding next week, I'm also gonna be talking a lot about um, how to master your research. But the second reason why research can make you feel like a failure is when your research doesn't work out. And so this doesn't even have to be something that you messed up on in an experiment, even though we all mess up in our experiments and it's completely okay if you did. But sometimes it's just that the hypothesis you had isn't true or you were hoping for certain results and you didn't get them. And so now you feel like a failure because the laws of nature didn't allow you to have those certain results. And I think this is something we all experience at sometimes when we have a really good idea and then we go in, we get the data and the data is just like, nope, that wasn't a good idea. Um, and I think a lot of times we need to recognize that that's not us failing, that is science. You know, that's how science works. You have an idea, you test it, and you see if it's a valid idea or not. 
And so when things don't work out in your data, it's you shouldn't feel like you're a failure even when you mess up. You shouldn't feel like you were a failure. Yes, that experiment did fail because of something you did, but then you learn from that and you go, okay, well, what is the thing that I need to do next time so that this doesn't happen again? And that's how we grow. It's not you failing. So the third reason that um, you can feel like a failure in grad school is bad mentorship. And so this can be kind of two components. The first component can be having a bad relationship with your advisor or supervisor. So a lot of advisors and supervisors can often put you down, and this can be whether they're meaning to or even when they're not meaning to and they just say something and then you feel like they hate you or they think you're stupid or any of these things. And sometimes that can be a valid feeling and that's what they meant to do, or it can just be our interpretation of what's happening. But oftentimes if you have a negative advisor relationship, this can make you feel like you are failing at being in grad school because your advisor hates you or you're not as good as someone else or something like that. And this is often coming down to really what your advisor is feeling and, and it's putting weight on yourself that doesn't really need to be there. If you are focusing on moving forward in your research and in all your other responsibilities, your advisor can think whatever they want, but ultimately you're going to be successful in getting through grad school. The flip coin of that is actually being a mentor. When you become a successful mentor to someone, you can actually start feeling like you're not a failure in grad school, like you actually know what you're doing and that you've actually come so far from where you were when you began. And so this happens later on in your grad school journey, but if you never have this component in your grad school journey, it can often make you feel like a failure because you never look back to where you were and you're just constantly thinking, well, why am I not so much further along? And so we're also in my workshop next week, we're going to talk about how to become a mentor and um, how to be good at mentoring people and why it's so critical to your grad school experience to be a mentor. So the fourth major reason why you can feel like a failure is your dissertation or your thesis, depending on what you're doing. In your dissertation or your thesis, this is starting to require skills that you may not have ever developed. I don't know of any graduate students that actually take classes on academic writing that are taught how to write scientific papers, how to write scientific chapters of your dissertation. And so whenever you get to the point of having your dissertation, you can almost immediately start feeling like a failure because you don't know what you're doing. And I think that's a very valid thing to feel. Um, and it's not because you're a failure, it's because our education system fails to teach us these important things. Um, we'll teach you over and over again the basics of your major or we'll teach you how to do statistics a million times. I think I've taken like four statistics classes but I've never taken an academic writing class or a class to teach me how to write my dissertation or my scientific papers. So when you get into this mode, you can start dealing with feeling like you're a failure and then one step beyond that is actually not being able to do what you need to do because you're dealing with the feelings of feeling like a failure. So then it kind of becomes a circular system where you're not getting things done and so you're failing to meet your deadlines because you don't know what you're doing and you're feeling like a failure in that. On this channel and I'll link above, I have a whole playlist on dissertation and thesis writing. But again, in my workshop, I will also be going over how to plan and write your dissertation or thesis. So if you want to um, sign up for that and kind of feel better and have strategies to feel successful and be successful in grad school, um, click the link below and sign up for that workshop. I would love to see you guys there next week um, and be able to interact with you and help you on your journey to being successful in your grad school programs.